I'm going to a dinner this evening. I want to bring some color-changing pasta to amuse the kids, and to amuse me and the other adults too. I've been doing experiments today to figure out how to do that. I'll be using red cabbage to tint some rice noodles, but I have to figure out how to deliver the color-changing acid and base, so I'll do some tests. These are rice noodles and here are bean thread noodles. I don't know if you can see the difference, but the bean thread noodles are kind of transparent. And they haven't taken up that much of the cabbage dye yet. The rice noodles are a little bit more translucent, even opaque. I took my spice grinders and I put a mixture of sesame seeds and either the lemon powder or the baking soda in them. And I thought they were going to grind, but they don't really grind. And I don't remember which one's which. I think this is the baking soda. They just kind of sprinkle the sesame seeds out. What I really wanted to do was slow down the delivery of the baking soda. So let's try that. Alright, so that's one. And then this has sesame seeds and the lemon juice powder. So that's two. There will be kids there, so I really didn't trust anybody to be using this directly. So we'll just give it a minute. You can see the baking soda is already turning this. In fact, I'm going to dump a little more right there. And maybe you can see, Let's zoom in. There's getting to be a few little speckles of pink where the crystals of lemon powder hit. I like that. I like that the one is too fine a powder to make speckles. It just makes a kind of green. I know it looks gray on the camera, but yeah, it is a little bit greenish. And the pink is coming in in speckles. Anyway, that's, that's for the dinner. Uh, just to have some fun. And... Maybe I'm sort of seeing a little bit of difference in the in the glassy noodles, the bean thread noodles, versus the rice noodles. You see how they handle the light a little bit differently? Let's get them in focus. There they go. Now these need more soaking before I can take them away, and I'm going to cook them a little. Okay, it's a couple minutes later, and I can see this to me looks definitely green, and the pink spots have spread. I thought I'd show you my setup. Here's my experimental tray. This is the top of an egg carton, and I've had my fingers in this. I This is not food. This is science here. I'm not going to eat that, but I made some red cabbage juice and put it in a very clean loaf pan, and I've been kind of tapping it down. I'll put this whole thing in something microwave safe. Now, the, the, the noodles tend to be square, so it's useful to use a square pan or rectangular pan to begin with, because they, they get started faster. I tried soaking chopped up red cabbage just in plain water, cold or cool room temperature, and I tried it in a in a steel pan, and they both turned out pretty close to the same. The raw one turned out a little cloudier. I don't think that matters, but it also had a greater odor. So for food preparation, I will cook it because I think that gets rid of some of the cabbage smell. Anyway, I'll prepare this and I'll bring it to the picnic tonight. I got what I hope is a whiter light. Uh, here are some of the noodles that I set aside. There's some more that I treated. So you can see you can see the, the green a little bit better here. And I also noticed that where there was a lot of baking soda, they seemed to turn yellow. These are dried out now. I also took some of the dinner noodles. I had cooked these, and when I cooked them, uh, I had the I had the red cabbage juice they were soaking in, so I put this whole thing in the microwave. I think the total was about five minutes. 
um, and they really soaked up the liquid, so I think that's a way to get more coloring into the noodles. They were a hit at dinner. They were great. Um, Even the adults were amused, and at least one of the kids really liked them and went for seconds, and I think maybe even thirds. Alright, so... We have this yellow. This is just some of the red cabbage. I did not cook quite all the color out of it. And again, I have the citric acid. Well, lemon juice. So I'll put really quite a lot on. A little bit less towards the middle, and then this is my baking soda. And again, I'll put a lot on this end and a little bit more of a lighter sprinkling towards the middle, and we'll see how much that turns it in the white odd light that I have. That's going to take a while. All right, uh, I'm going to go away and come back. I think this is starting to turn yellow right along the very edges. I'll wait a little longer see if I can get that kind of a yellow. It's been more hours, I kind of forgot about this, but this did turn yellow. So, that works. Baking soda does turn it yellow eventually. I might be able to make the noodles out of uh, flour mixed with red cabbage to begin with. That might be interesting.